Trisha and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a fall pumpkin birdhouse. So I'm going to be working with some pumpkins that I got from Hobby Lobby. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you what all my supplies are going to be to create this birdhouse. Alright, so I've got my supplies set up here in front of me. I've got all my products are from Hobby Lobby and I did get everything at 40% off. I have some items that I purchased um, a few days prior to that so that I could also use my coupon. And then I have a couple of items that I have from last year. So let me go ahead and tell you what they are. First of all, I'm going to build my birdhouse, but I need some pumpkins. Now you could do one, two, or three. I'm going to go ahead and do three because I'm going to make this into a topiary. And I probably should call this my pumpkin birdhouse topiary. So let's go ahead and do that. I've got three pumpkins of three different sizes and I love these colors. They do have them like in all oranges and all the different sizes. They have them in greens and they have them in this uh, cream color. But I decided to choose one of each because they were so pretty, I just had to. Okay, from their uh, greenery and their floral bushes, I picked up this beautiful, I guess they're like maple leaves or some, some type of oak leaves probably this oh let me tell you the prices uh, my large pumpkin is a $19.99 pumpkin this one is $11.99 uh, let's see did they say the sizes on them they don't say the size on them but you know <laughs> here's my hands if that helps and then the smaller one was a $6.99 pumpkin of course like I said I got these all at 40% off so um, for example, this $11.99, I don't have my, my receipt with me to tell you, but this $11.99 was probably about $7 and some change. And this is obviously less, so this is probably just a little bit more. Okay, this $10 uh, bush did end up costing me $5, but it has a lot of leaves on there, and this I'll be cutting them off from these from the bush so they just become simple single stems. Okay, and then from their fall aisle. Uh, same area where I got the pumpkins. Um, they had these picks. These were $3.99 each, but they were 40% off as well. They had these little tiny little pumpkins on them. I got one with a green teal kind of tone on it. And it has a little pine cone and some little berries as well as some leaves. And this one has a little pumpkin and then it has a little bit of raffia here and some little berries on it. I just thought they were really pretty. Okay, what I got last year was this fall ribbon, and this just has some uh, maple leaves on them. I think they're maple leaves. Well, maple leaf or oak, you will know. <laughs> I don't live in an area where we have beautiful orange leaves, so everything's green all the time. Okay, or they're just, it's just not there anymore. Okay, this was a roll that was $7.99 last year, but again, I got it at half off. I did use it on some of my crafts last year, so if you look at my videos from 2017, you'll probably see me using this ribbon. And this is a, a roll that had 30 feet, so that's pretty good. Okay, it's about 10 yards in here. Uh, this year I did get this bag of green moss. I don't remember how much this was. Oh, it was $6.99. And I probably got it with a 40% off coupon because I never see these items on sale. Uh, they might be. I don't know. i never seen them. So I always get them with a coupon. Also, uh, in their floral department, you know, where they have like all the wedding items and they have like little fairy garden stuff, that little birds and butterflies. I picked up this a package of little birds. It's from their My Garden Friends collection, as you can see on there. This was a $3.99 uh, packet. I did end up buying it separately on another occasion with a 40% off coupon as I did these little, this little package of little nested eggs. Also from the same brand. It was $2.99. And uh, this is from another store. And I got this last year. This is from a store called At Home. You may not find this. But if you don't, you could use maybe some raffia or some other colored moss. Maybe some Spanish moss. Aside from the green moss. Just because I want to add another texture into my, into my arrangement. This comes in three colors. But I'm probably going to use this brown one. Which I did already use some. And I'm just going to use a little bit more. Okay, so this is pretty much an optional item if you don't find it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, prepare all our items by cutting these off of here, removing all the tags, opening up things, and then removing items from their packaging. Okay, and then I'll be back. And we'll get to crafting. 
All right, I should mention the tools that we're going to be using. I'm going to be using my wire cutters. I'm going to be using a little knife, some scissors, my little pliers. I've got my hot glue gun with some hot glue sticks ready here. It's already hot, ready to go. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to remove this part of the pumpkin off of them. And I've gone ahead and I pulled it off the medium size one. And I had to just do a little bit of pulling because they are glued in there, but it's just stuck into a little hole in there. So that's all it is. So I just removed it. I'm not going to remove it off the top one, but I am going to remove it off the big one as well. And let's just show you. Just hold it down because it might pull off everything, but it's no big deal because we're going to cover this up anyway. But as you can see inside, it's just styrofoam and that's what we want. Okay, so I can go ahead and get rid of these two little parts because I'm not gonna use them. These are gonna get stacked up on each other and that's why I needed to remove it off the bottom and the middle. Okay, so then I wanna glue this one on top of this. And then of course I'm gonna glue the smaller one on top of here as well. So now that I've got these here, before I glue them together, I wanna dig out some little holes in my pumpkin. That's where like, my little birds are gonna be living in. And on this one, I think I'm gonna put one kind of on the bottom to the side and maybe one over here. I might center one right here in the middle and then maybe just put one off to the side on the smaller pumpkin. So that's what I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna be using my knife here. I'm gonna be calling it a craft knife, but this is just a regular knife. I got this from the Dollar Tree. It was only a dollar. It works really well and uh, I love using it. It's nice and sharp, so be careful doing this. So all we're gonna do is just cut into it because it is styrofoam. Just start cutting in. And I'm probably going to cut maybe three inches right now. It's probably just about two inches that I've cut into it. But I want to cut about maybe three inches because I have these little nests. And I am going to be tucking maybe one of them in there and the others I'll put them somewhere else on the pumpkin. But I want to get into at least one of these holes. And I want to get it into this bottom one here. Okay, so there we go. That's all I've done is I've just dug it out. So I've got a nice clean hole. So now what I want to do is I want to test this. Put it in there and I can see that I need to go in even deeper. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go bigger. And I would recommend just taking out a little bit at a time. Don't try doing a whole big piece all at once. This is going to be kind of messy because this is the type of styrofoam that breaks up into these little tiny little balls. So it's going to be everywhere. And it's up to you if you want to save that because you could probably use that as a, as a snow. You mix it up with some white paint. Then you break it up real nice and fine. Some pieces even chunky. Mix it up with some uh, white paint. And you can use to dab on some items so that it can be like snow. Okay. You know, just to recycle things. I'm just digging out a little bit more out of it. I don't want to go any lower than this because then it'll be way down here and I don't want that. I want it to be showing. So I'm going to just dig that out. That fits in just nicely. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig out from the top. It's like I'm making a little window or a little doorway, whatever, however you want to look at it into my birdhouse. I think it's more it can be like a condo <laughs> rather than a house. Okay, so now I've dug out some more and a little bit from the top. And that's what I want, just like that. My little bird nest rests in there just fine. The other holes that I make don't have to be this big. They can be a little bit smaller. Okay, so then what I'm going to do, I happen to have some green, uh, moss here some sheet moss already open so i don't have to open up that new packaging which is awesome okay so now i'm going to take some of this and what i'm going to do is i'm going to cover like the top part up here and the sides because my little nest is pretty much going to cover a lot of the bottom here so i mainly want to concentrate on covering the sides and the top and the very far back so let's put some way in the back first because you know the glue's hot and i don't want to burn my fingers so I'm just going to slide that in and I can use the same knife to push that in and get it to stick into the glue like that. Okay, so you just want to continue doing that till you've covered all the white stuff.
styrofoam that we'll be showing. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just going to put it upside down so I can do the top part of it. And I can see what I'm doing. And it's better to try and get little bits at a time than trying to get a big old glob of, or you know, like a big old piece of, of uh, moss in there so that you don't burn your fingers trying to push it in. Little drops of glue. Let's get that over here. Cover that. This is going to be what's going to be a little tedious, doing all this. But it's going to be worth it. But now you can see why I'm not doing too many of these little holes. Okay. I've got most of it covered. What will be the top? And now some of this moss is kind of sticking out. That's okay. We like that effect. Because, you know, a little bird came and created that. He stuffed all that in there, or she stuffed all that in there, and they made their little nest. And of course, it's not going to be all perfect. I think this will fit just fine in there. Let me just put a little bit on the bottom just to make sure that the white on the very edge is not going to show. The white of the styrofoam, that is. Let me get another little piece right here. Okay. See what I'm doing right there? Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put the little nest. So I'm just gonna put get that let get that styrofoam off of it first. Okay. And I'm gonna tuck that in. I like that it also has like a little feather right there. <laughs> Look how cute that looks. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and make another little hole on the other side, like I said. And then I'm going to do one on this one as well, and then on the small one, and then I'll be back when that is all done. But I'm basically going to follow the same steps. I'm just not going to put the little nest. All I'm going to do is stuff it with this moss, and I am going to make smaller little holes. And I shall be back. Okay, so what I did is I am finishing up with the small one and digging out the hole that I want on it. And I've also gone ahead and put a little bit of glue, not only on the inside of the sides and the top part, but on the outside of the uh, hole so that some of this moss also sticks to those edges. Okay, I'll just push that in. to stick to the edges. I've been sweeping over and over <laughs> at all the uh, styrofoam that has been falling on the floor. And not to mention the moss. And then not only that, but the moss has a little bit of dirt in it, so I keep getting that all over the place as well. Okay, so now I'm just going to glue a little nest to this one as well. Push it in there. 
kind of like that off to the side. Okay, so let me show you what I've done on these two. Okay, you saw me do the first one here, and I did another one, and all I did was just stuff some moss in there, as I did to this one as well. I only did one hole on that one, and then another one on here, and I also add the little nest to that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and stack these up so we can start decorating our pumpkins. So I'm gonna put that right on there. Let me get my glue stick here ready. I'm just going to put some glue in the higher points of the, I don't know what to call this, it's part of the little ridges of the pumpkin as they come up. Just putting some glue on those higher points because I'm hoping that is where this one will catch and I decided that I want one in the middle and these kind of off to the sides. So I'm just going to center it. I would of course be looking at it from the front. I'd be looking at it like this as I was working on it, but I want you to see what I'm doing. So I've turned it around so that you can see. And I want to put the smaller pumpkin up here, and I want the little hole with the nest off to the side. I'm just going to twist this because I kind of want that off to the side as well. So now I'm going to do the same up here. Really, a lot of the work was just digging out those little holes. And it's not that it's so... You know, they're hard to do. It just takes a little time. And you know, all the mess that it makes. So it's a little, you know, it can be a little frustrating doing it. But it's really no big deal. Okay. Off to the side just a bit. Any glue that shows is okay because we're going to cover all that up. I want you to look at that so far. Okay. So now we want to decorate our birdhouse. Topiary, I decided to add that to the title. So this will be titled a Fall Birdhouse Topiary. Pumpkin Birdhouse Topiary. Okay, I've got all my little bits. I've cut up all my, my, uh, what are these? <laughs> my bushes, my leaves. So uh, what I want to do is I want to decorate around on the, between every, every pumpkin because I want to cover, you know, where they, all the glue is. I want to add a few of these on the bottom perhaps. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, I'm going to use my wire cutters now for that to trim off the stems. And I'm going to go ahead and start by placing some on what would be the back because I do have these lovely pigs with pumpkins and, and some leaves on them. And I want to put those where I can see them in the front. So I'm going to start by putting some of these. I left the stem long enough so that I can push it in. You can actually push it into the pumpkin itself because the pumpkin is styrofoam. So if you didn't want to glue them on, you could just poke them in, just like I just did this one. I just poked it right in there. But I'm going to add a little bit of glue. Poke it back right where I had made that little, little hole. And there we go. That's all I'm going to do. Okay. So I'm just going to get some of these. Some of these are going to actually separate them and actually create two stems like that. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one big. And I'm just gonna spread them around. Like one up here as well. Poke it right into the pumpkin. There's some glue there so it wouldn't let me really do it. Okay, and then I'm just gonna push these leaves down so that they're not all it up here on the top. I'm going to take this one. This one doesn't have any little berries on it. And put it on the other side here. And just push it in as much as I can. I think I could have cut the stem a little bit shorter and I am going to do it. Let's see. Let me push these leaves up a bit. Let's cut that. There we go. It was easier to push it in because the other one was so long, uh, it was bending on me. And it shouldn't be even that hard to push it in actually, but you know, nice little short stem will do. Okay, so I'm gonna continue adding some a little bit more. Keep it nice and short because as we found out, that's better. And just a little bit of glue, don't put too much. Okay. 
Then we'll remove all these glue webs that like to get on everything. Okay. I think I need one right here on this side, and then I think I need one in the middle and the back here. Let's see what you can do. You're looking at it like that. All these little stems, sometimes I use them. I recycle them. The little sticks are good for something. Okay. I said I needed another one back here somewhere. Okay, let's poke you in. Come on, honey, get in there. There we go. And I, I kind of like where some of the leaves are going sideways and some of them are going, you know, up and down. So that's just up to you what you want to do. Okay. So now let's look at the front area and I've still got some bushes and I've still got some of this moss which I still want to put on here. I'm going to go ahead and take these apart. I'm going to pull all these parts, the pumpkin, the pine cone, the berries and the leaves all off of this big, just one big stem because I don't need that big old stem. So I'm going to do the same to the other one. Take it apart. It's going to be a whole lot easier to place these and they won't all necessarily have to be all together. Okay. And the berries. Okay. Throw that away. I actually don't need this stick on here. And I probably don't need this one. And if I do, I have these uh, these stems here that I can use. Now, when I pull this one off, I ended up peeling quite a bit off of it. So I'll just make sure that I hide that. Okay. Let's go ahead and get going. Let's see. I want... This is a nice green uh, pumpkin, but I think I'm going to want it at the top because I do have a green one at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one kind of offside. So I, like I said, we can use these little sticks that we have left over from the stems. The ones that I came with were kind of thick and wrapped in a brown uh, floral tape, which is fine. But I don't know, I felt like they were a little too, too big. Too much. Okay, so I'm just going to poke this in here. Let's get you in there. There we go. And he's kind of slanted. Look at that. You can see the back of it. But we're going to cover that, so don't worry about that. Okay. And I'm going to want a bow probably right behind this little stem here, right back here. Or I could put it in front of it. So I'm actually, the stem might end up getting hidden away. All right. Let's continue adding. I think I want this other pumpkin right here. I'm just kind of balancing it on the opposite side. And actually it's right above the other nest. And this one's right above this nest. So let's go ahead and do that. And I think that the easier thing would be to put the stick into the pumpkin and then obviously some glue into this one. Right where I'm going to stick it into there. There we go. Just like that and then we'll just tuck some stuff in there I got this little kind of a raffia little, I don't know, just got a little broom or something I don't know what it's supposed to be but I'm gonna tuck that right in there let's get some more glue on our glue gun here we push that forward so you can see it better while I'm doing all this okay, this one I'm just gonna slide it right in there You see that? This little thing there. Okay. I'm just going to keep decorating it. Yes, yes, yes. Let's stop that. There we go. Cut that. I said stop that. Okay. Now these little leaves that were with that pick, I'm going to go ahead and also tuck those in right above that little I don't know what that is. Little bits of graphia. The other one on the other side of it. Right here next to that little where the nest is. Now I'm going to use some of this uh, green sheet moss as well to cover some of these areas under here and on top of the pumpkin right in the where the two of the other pumpkin is glued on. So all I'm going to do is going to take a little little cluster, put some glue on it, tuck it in, and just glue it. And it doesn't have to be like 
tucked way deep in there just anywhere because this is just going to be some moss it just happens to be growing on our pumpkin just like that now as you saw the first time that i did it i put the glue on the cluster because it was a pretty big thick cluster these other little clusters that i was pushing in there are kind of smaller so i went ahead and put the glue on the pumpkin itself so that's basically what i'm doing look at that just put some moss in there to cover up those little spots and then we can add more greenery as well but for now we're just covering up and that's what I'm going to continue doing. Okay, so before I continue adding any more of my leaves, and I still got these little berry stems, and I've got my little birds, and one more nest. I've got another leaf right here. I'm going to go ahead and make a bow that I can put at the top of my arrangement. The bow is actually kind of an optional thing as well. You don't have to put a bow if you don't want to. Okay, so before I go ahead and, uh, like I said, add any more to this, I'm going to go ahead and add a bow because I feel like the bow is going to tell me if how much more and what to place up here on the very top that we all know anything that I have left over I can go ahead and use it at the bottom which I feel like I need okay here we go I'm just gonna make a tail and I kind of want the bow tail to kind of hang off my my uh, arrangement so I'm gonna make a nice long one add a little bit extra and then I'm just gonna make this is about six or eight inches of ribbon and then I create a little bow pinch it twist it do the same bring them up and make sure that they're the same size and they are okay just keep them your loops flat for now you don't have to um, poof them up yet okay I'm gonna make uh, six loops so three on each side one more on this side and that's it I got six loops and then I'm gonna leave another nice kind of long tail but not as long as the other one maybe half the length Okay, we can move our ribbon out of the way. I didn't mention floral wire. We're going to need some wire, or you can use a chenille stamp to tie up your bow. I just need a little bit, a little piece, about 8 or 10 inches long. This is enough. Twist the bow so that I make sure that I tighten into the bow and not just twisting those wire ends together okay okay there we go that's done and now I can poof it up just a little bit it's probably going to get mashed up again so don't worry you'll just poof it up again I'm just going to poof it up a little bit just so I can see how how big it is and how much space is, it's actually taking on my arrangement I want to make sure that I don't have the little tail hanging on in front of this nest. So all I'm doing is just looking at it like this. Off to the side. That looks good. I can see it from the front. All right. So you have two options. Since it has a stem up here, you could take the two wires here, bring it around, and then just tie around that, which is what I'm doing right now. Or you can just hot glue the whole bow down onto the pumpkin. 
I'm just going to tie it on. For now, I think that's good enough. Yeah, it holds on just fine. And all I do is just kind of fold and loop my ribbon a little bit. Poof up my bow. And then take the other little tail over to the other side, coming out from behind this little pumpkin. And then just bend it a little bit. There you go. That's all that I'm going to do with that. So now I'm going to take a look at it so I can see where I want to put my little birds. I decided that I wanted one uh, near this little hole right here. So I put a leaf right there where I feel like he should be sitting. On. All right, so I've been looking at my camera. It's been recording, and then I happened to look up, and it was black. So I don't know where uh, it uh, decided not to be recording anymore. So uh, I'm just going to... Let you know what I've been doing is I've been filling it up and of course I put a bow in the very top and I hope uh, that showed or at least I have, a f I have footage of that and then I added a little bird off to the side over here on this little leaf that's over this little hole so that's what I did with him there's a little bird right there and there's my bow and then I've also gone ahead and I've taken a couple of these or I took one and I decided to stick another one here in the back to fill up this little area, I feel like the bottom here is fine. Uh, I've got also a lot of that moss, so I'm going to take more of that moss and fill in back here where I can see the, the pumpkin and the little stems, and I want to hide that. So I'm just going to put a big glob of this moss right in there. And then right off on this other side as well, there's a little area there. I'm just going to break a little piece of that. I don't need too much right there. Beautiful. And then I'm also going to tuck some under this leaf that's on the very top right back here with a bow because I don't want to see the wire and the stem of that uh, leaf thing there. So I'm just going to add a little bit of that there. There's just a little cluster. And I'm going to do the same uh, to the, the back side over here where I have this other leaf stem pushed into there. I need more hot glue, more glue sticks. Okay, put some in there. Break this up here and then a small one over here, just a little bit. See how I'm hiding that right in here? Just, just looking for little areas where I can see the pumpkin, like down here as well, I can see right in there. So all I'm going to do is put some glue, tuck some of that moss in there. Let's see, I'm going to turn it around. I think I've got pretty much all the little areas covered with moss, so I don't need to put any moss. But I do have two more of these and uh, my berry stems. Now I was I also mentioned that I had three birds and three nests, and I think I'm not even going to use all three bird or three birds and the and all three nests. I will save one bird and one nest for another project. I'm going to take these little berries. I like this one with all the different colors. I'm going to put this up here on the top. So I'm just going to put some glue on that little bit of stem that it has, and just tuck it right underneath the pumpkin, right here. I'm just going to tuck it right in. And then the other berry stem, also, I think he needs to be over here where this little bird is. So I'm just going to cut the, the stem. I don't need it to be that long. And just tuck it underneath this other cluster of leaves. Actually, there's some little berries there, but that's okay. I added some more. It's just to add some more uh, balance down here because there's a pumpkin here happening. And then, of course, there's so much going on up here. I'm going to stick this other leaf up here, right underneath the bow area. Just glue it right there. I don't want to cover my pumpkins too much now. Okay, so I still have two stems. I'm going to cut them nice and short. Bring up the leaves. And cut them short. And I do have a little area here where I can stick this one in. There we go, right there. And I think up here in the front where I put this pine cone, I'm going to put one right there. 
and it has a little bit of berries on it, so that's nice. Okay, now I'm just going to twist my leaves so they're kind of going sideways like that rather than up and down because I don't want to hide that pretty um, cream pumpkin under there. All right, my arrangement, my topiary. I decided to call it a pumpkin birdhouse topiary. And I've got one more thing to add on that, and that is another little bird. Excuse me while I make a little noise here. I want to add a little bird at the top. Of course, I've got to clean up <laughs> just so that I can feel like I'm really finished. And that will be that. And I didn't even use this other product. The sizzle. I don't think I need it. I think it's called sizzle. Yeah. I don't think I need that. We're not going to use it. I'll save it for some other project. I have some ribbon left over and I have a little bird and some nests left over. And of course, I still got some of this package that I had opened before and my brand new packet left over. So as you can see, this green moss will go a long way. I didn't have very much in that packet that was already open and I still have some left over. And I used quite a bit on this. So that was pretty good. All right. So I'm going to put my little bird right on top this very tippy top pumpkin push that glue down right up here and he's looking forward just want to make sure that he is and there we go our pumpkin birdhouse topiary is done <laughs> so i'm just gonna poof up the little bow here and i'll pan the camera around it so it'll be a little closer so that you can see it close up and well i'm gonna give myself a big old thumbs up and I hope you too will give me a big old thumbs up so leave a nice comment down below I want to thank everybody for all your wonderful comments down below thank you for all the blessings that you're sending me and all the encouragement all the hugs everybody from the different places you know there's uh, I can think of I think it's Lanc Lancaster England I'm sorry if I said that wrong uh, both from England some of you from um, Canada and of course here in the United States. Um, thank you all so very much for uh, your encouragement and thank you all to the new subscribers. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. It would help me a lot. And of course it helps me when you view my videos and of course when you share them so that others can view them. So if you have your Facebook or your, you know, your Twitter, whatever you have, you know, share them on your social medias, tell your friends about them. Um, because the more views I get, I am monetizing on my videos and then I'm able to afford uh, more items to do more crafts so that I can, of course, have more videos for you. And it's so much fun doing this. Uh, and once in a while I get to treat myself to something like this. This was a little more expensive, of course, than a Dollar Tree item, but as you can see, we can work with high-end products and we can also work with a low-end products that are actually pretty nice and we can make nice and nice arrangements like we did last week with that little scarecrow that I made for you. Okay, so here we go. That's it. Again, thank you all very much. And uh, as always, enjoy.